gonna do a selfie video, do it right. You can't even say selfie video. Shut up. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Good morning, everybody. We're doing a selfie video. We're getting ready to go to the convention. Yes, we're heading out to Kentucky. We're getting ready to hit the road. And um, so Mr. D and I wanted to say good morning. Good morning. We're in Ohio. Ohio. Ohio, yes. And we're getting ready to hit the road to go to Kentucky. So we're looking forward to coming out and seeing everybody at convention. Yes, we are. We're going to have a great day. So I want everybody to be careful on the roads while you're traveling. And uh, be good when you get to the convention. Be good? Yeah. And if you can't be good, at least be careful. All right. See you later. See you all later. Hello, this is Mr. D of Mr. D and Friends. And this is Mr. D of Mr. D and Friends. I am Mr. D, Dennis Daniels of Mr. D and Friends. I am Daniel Dennison, Mr. D. Stop it. You stop it. Listen, we're here. We're actually heading out tonight to go to, where are we going to? West Essex High School to see the Matawan Marching Band. We're dressed up in our Matawan maroon and gray to go see Lucas in the band as they play in band competition. Yes, we are. We're celebrating. It's Sunday the 19th, and we're going to have a blast. Are we celebrating something else? Yes, we are. We're celebrating my birthday. It's not your birthday. It's my birthday tomorrow, the 20th. Yes, it is. Mine, too. It is not. Listen. This is Dennis Daniels, and I am Mr. D. And we are reporting traffic in the snowstorm. We're at the Garden State Parkway in Aberdeen. As you can see, traffic is moving slowly behind us. Reporting from the Garden State Parkway, I am Dennis Daniels, I am Mr. D. Don't be a dummy, stay off the roads. Hey, Mr. D, you're looking kind of scruffy there. Well, I'm getting ready for Christmas and I'm growing out my Santa beard, even though today we are sitting around celebrating, what? Thanksgiving. Yes, so we wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. And uh, I hope everybody's as happy, healthy, and blessed. Absolutely. Have a good one. We'll see you all around. We can go. My favorite troubadour, Jazzy's going to finish things up. You mean I don't get the last word? No. <laughs> so, you do get to sing, though. I don't sing. Come on, sing me happy birthday. I'm not singing you happy birthday. Come on, the assignment was sing me happy birthday in your own special way. Oh, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a donkey. And you smell like one, too. <laughs> See you later. Shut up. Hello, this is Dennis Daniels, reporting from the snow. And this is Daniel Dennison, Mr. D. This is my big break for News 12. All right, well, do your thing. We're out here in the snow, and it's colder than cold, and we have to do our thing, right? Yes, yes, what do we have to do? We have to let the people know how deep the snow is. So we got to do the corny ruler thing. Yes, we have to do the corny ruler. So measure the snow. All right, let's see. Uh, looks like we got about seven inches. Seven inches of snow here in Aberdeen, New Jersey. Taking it back to you guys in the studio. That's my line. Shut up. Hi, I'm Dennis Daniels. And I am Daniel Dennison. I'm Mr. D. I am Mr. D. Look, look, this is not going to work out. This whole dressing like I dress and doing like I do is not going to work out. Don't worry. I'm the good-looking one. Listen, I'm telling you, this is not going to work out. Listen, listen, don't worry. I got it all figured out. Listen, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going into a totally different line of entertainment than you. Good. As long as you do a different line of entertainment, everything will be fine. Yes, yes, I'm going to become a ventriloquist. 
<laughs> what? You mean you're going to become a ventriloquist? I'm a ventriloquist. Really? I never saw you do any ventriloquism. Look, you can't be a ventriloquist. Why? All I need is a dummy. I got it. Want to be my dummy? Dummy? It takes more than just having a dummy to be a ventriloquist. It takes talent. It takes having an act. It takes being able to talk without moving your lips. There's certain things you can't even say. What do you mean? Like the letter B, the letter P. You don't have the lip technique that it would take to do that. What are you talking about? For example, the sentence, Billy Bennett went to the bookstore and bought a brick to school and put it in Bobby Benson's backpack. You couldn't say that without moving your mouth. Really? Really. So I couldn't say. Bobby Benson went to the bookstore to get a brick. You said a brick, right? Yes, I did. And he put it in Billy Benson's backpack. I said book bag. Book bag. Yes, and you could not do that without moving your mouth. That's what a ventriloquist can do. Maybe I can't. You could also not do a tongue twister like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That's like impossible. You gotta have years of training. So I couldn't see Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers without moving my lips. No, you could not do it. Can't say that. Because your pa pa and your ba ba the lips have to go together to make those sounds. Well, maybe I will and maybe I won't. But I bet you this, what? When Billy Benson went to the bookstore and got that brick and put it in Bobby Bennett's book bag, his butt got in big, big trouble. That's all I got to say. Goodbye, folks.